Uh, turning to you, Stacey, the first presidential debate was chaotic. We saw uh, yes. the candidates speaking over each other, there were interruptions, there was name-calling. What should we expect this time around? Well, you know, Sumi is right. It's really, the pressure is really on President Trump right now. And his camp is telling him to let Joe Biden speak. They believe that if he is able to express what his views are, that it might turn off viewers or voters. But Trump is going to Trump. And so what that means is if we're looking at... Um, his behavior so far. When he feels pressured, he lashes out. And he's been lurching from state to state, many of which he won before, Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, the so-called blue wall um, that he was able to take from Hillary Clinton. Now he's trailing in those states. And so he's throwing everything, calling Joe Biden a criminal, attacking Kristen Welker, who's the moderator tonight. These are things that don't really play well for, with voters, at least they haven't so far. But Trump doesn't seem to be able to control himself. So he might we might see more of the same. Even if we can't hear him speaking at Biden when the mics are off, he still might do that just to throw Biden off. And this might make Biden weak, at least this is what Trump supporters think. And so if Biden can't express himself, if he can't seem strong, they're thinking that this might suppress the vote or depress the vote. It might make people who are probably leaning more towards Joe Biden, um, but they're not sure if they're going to vote for him yet, stay home. And so that's what Trump's thing is. He's not really trying to reach out to black voters or Latinos so much. Right. But He's trying to keep Biden voters from coming to the polls and voting for him. So more of the same from Trump, but what about Biden? Do we expect more of the same from him as well? Well, Biden was off the campaign trail this week, focusing on the debate, practicing for different kinds of scenarios that President Donald Trump might throw at him. So we're going... To, what? Democrats are hoping to see is a stronger Joe Biden. Now, President uh, Barack Obama was able to throw some red meat at, Demo at the Democratic base last night with his uh, stump speech um, in Pennsylvania and Philadelphia. But Trump, but Biden really needs to be strong and more vocal in order to woo voters. All right, Stacey, um, earlier you mentioned Christian, Christian Welker, who's going to be the, the host of the uh, the program and we just see the debate, we just see her coming out right now. Um, she has, um, she will make history as the first black woman to moderate a presidential right. debate. Um, can you tell us more about her? Well, she's a widely respected journalist for NBC News and she's uh, been working for the White, covering the White House for quite some time. And she's been under attack by President Donald Trump already. Her integrity, he's saying that she's not um, we're going to be fair to him. She's going to be worse than anybody else. And so this is something that's just go another reason why black women are turned off by Donald Trump in droves. Uh, Stacey, um, Sumi has just referenced the president's health. Mm -hmm. um, how much is that going to play into proceedings tonight? Well, COVID itself is going to be center stage. We're going to be reminded of it because they're social distanced. And if you just look at the numbers right now, more than 222,000 Americans have died from, from COVID. Um, and there's a recent study by Columbia University that puts the blame st strongly at President Donald Trump's feet, saying that had he had his administration handled it better, that up to 210,000 Americans would have survived so that they died needlessly. So this is going to be front and center. And if Joe Biden is smart, he's going to continue to press Donald Trump to answer those questions. And, and what are the crucial things you know, overall that we should look for tonight? Well, other than COVID, there's things that are related, like the economy. Um, Donald Trump wanted to run on the economy because he thought that that was his, his strong suit. Now there's millions of Americans that are unemployed and receiving benefits, millions more that are waiting for help because the relief package has not, got, has not been approved or agreed upon uh, quite yet. Um, and also race in America is going to be big because COVID and race were the two main issues. And so we have one politician who says race there's no systematic racism and another that says that there is so we'll see what happens tonight it's less than two weeks ago before the election day millions of people already uh, casting their ballots in early voting is this likely to swing voter uh, decisions this this debate Look, the amount of people who haven't, that don't know who they're going to vote for, the undecided voter, is very, very small. And my question is, if you don't know who you're voting for, where have you been? I mean, this is, um, these men couldn't be 
more different, mm. right? Um, but but this, it seems that people are very much engaged. More than Good 47 evening, million so people have already voted. Oh, it looks like we're about to start. Okay, uh, Stacey, we'll have to just cut you there and go straight to the debate.